Hello Blender Files at the end with me Shubham from Blender File and this is the Node Concept. And today we are doing the sky texture and this is a really awesome texture to play around with. So let's just do it. So yeah, sky texture is not used for you know, cube material, it's rather used for a uh, world background. So if I plug in a sky over here, this goes <laughs> epically. But yeah, it gives an output, but it's not the desired one, so we'll just leave it around there and switch to the world setting. And now, if we press uh, Shift A and add in a image texture, oh sorry, sky texture, and plug it into the background, and then you will see it boom. There you have a nice, simple HDR-looking sky. So it's very basic, but yeah, the job. So. Um, we have two types of skies, so one is Hosek Zilki and one is Pritam. So, you know, Pritam is like a really bright one and um, both are pretty much same-ish. So, yeah, Pritam is brighter and gives a sort of, you know, less realistic. But, yeah, you can play around with whichever you want. And I use Hosek Zilki more. And that's basically it. So, uh, next to the term BDT, so it actually, you know, uh, well, firstly, this thing, uh, this ball over here, so it controls the direction of the sun, so, and just play around with that, click and drag, and the white portion is where the sun is shining. So, it should be that the white portion is from where the sun is shining, but, you know, it kind of sometimes goes wrong, so you can see it's like pretty much overhead, but if I bring it down over here, it still goes more upward and like weird. I have no clue how it actually, you know, plays around with the sun, but you can just play around and adjust. So, you can see it controls the direction of the sun. And the sun is pretty much um, faded right now. You can't, you can only, you know, imagine like there was something, a uh, source of light over there. So, the turbidity, it controls the, you know, uh, the fading value of the sun over here. So, if I increase this, you can see now there is a better figure of sun you can see over here, but yeah, bigger, brighter sun, Ooh, like a planet. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's what turbidity do. So it goes from zero to oh, one to ten. So at one, you will see there is almost no sun. So it's the clear sky, with a clear sky without a sun. Hmm. Weird. So that's what turbidity one does, and ten makes it. Completely sunny, boom, bright light, and kinda makes the surrounding more fader and evening type. And next is the ground albedo. So what it does is it reflects the ground color that is over here, the brown thing. Just turn down this to like six. And there's some sun. So uh, this thing over here, that greenish ground, or whatever this is, bottom. So sky reflects, you know, where you can see, it reflects that ground color, so changing that to zero, it reflects it less, and changing that to wave one, it reflects it quite a bit. So, you cannot actually, you know, you know uh, see it correctly, if I can see a, a nice spot to show you, hmm, well, actually, it's not showing up, so, you can see over here, these portions over here, a little bit of reflection, and yeah, that causes a bit of increase in the brightness as well, because of the reflections, so, yeah, that is basically the sky texture, and with the pre as well, ooh, oh, that's very bright, you have only turbidity which controls the sun, where is it, boom, oh, that's really big and bright, and you cannot actually figure out how big that is. Ah. So, boom, there it is. Only a single spot over there, and the background is completely white. Why is it white? Um, so, you know, that's basically it. Ah, yeah, so, yeah. Hosek will key have the ground albedo and Pritam doesn't. So, you know, these are basically different algorithms. So, yeah, Hosek will key gives more realistic and uh, Sky and 
free time gives a less fun, uh, less useful. But yeah, you can choose whichever you want to use. So that's basically the uh, sky texture. So, and you know, how recently I was you know, testing around with the sky texture, and I created a procedural uh, sky texture. So, oops, I just show you. Ah, delete it. So I have it over here, and there is this. So this is a group node I made specifically. So that's a procedural sky, you can see, I have actually done is added clouds over there, so that's basically all well, makes the sky look better, and I've converted this bla uh, this thing which is, you know, usually green, or some other color based on the sun, I've turned that into black, so you can use it over there, so, if you add in a plane over here, and, I can't see that, if you add it, okay, I guess. Huh, so many zoomed out I was, huh, that's it. And let's add in a UV sphere also over there, so. Hmm, so yeah, you can see it can be, you know, if you are not using a HDR or don't want to use a HDR, you can use this uh, sunny sky <laughs> no setup. I created this, I will be posting uh, this uh, within a few days on our Facebook page, you can download it from there. And uh, yeah, so if I want to see, boom, there is a sky texture over here. So I'm using the sky texture here, it has a vector that controls the, you know, location of this sky part. So that what vector do here will be, you know, dealing with this once we are doing the vectors. So yeah, that's basically the thing. And it looks nice to me. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the sky texture and I hope you learned something and uh, yeah next we'll be doing the magic texture and uh, you can you know say uh, subscribe to stay tuned and follow us on facebook at facebook.com slash blender file and uh, yeah we hope to see you in our next tutorial bye